What's going on everybody? In today's video, what are we doing? And what are we talking about? So in today's video, if you have not already guessed it by the title, uh, I'm here to bring the news to everybody that the N64 test cartridge has finally been dumped completely. So there were partial dumps that had been attempted in the past, uh, but it had never actually been done completely uh, until just recently. And the news of this was posted on a website, uh, but it wasn't really talked about that much. And it sort of felt like it went under the radar. And so I figured that the best way to just sort of let everybody know about it uh, was to do a video on it and just talk about it a little bit. Uh, so that's what today's video is gonna be about. So without further ado, let's get started. Here we go. So last month, the website GamingAlexandria.com made a post stating that they were sent the full ROM dump of the Nintendo 64 test cartridge. The dump was performed by an anonymous user. They have posted the ROM on archive.org along with a detailed write-up from N64 development guru Zoan Kitty, who has been an active contributor to the N64 homebrew scene for many, many years. He will provide all the nitty-gritty details in his write-up for those real diehards out there. I've provided their link to the ROM in the description of this video. So to briefly explain some of what Zoin Kitty describes in his write-up, back in June of 2016, Marshall H, who developed the 64 drive, he managed to dump a near complete copy of the main test program. The only thing that he was missing was the tail end of the audio samples that were used by the audio test. Marshall dumped the data by interfacing to the cartridge memory and sniffing out the address lines. The only area of memory that was not accessible using this sniffing method was the audio samples. Thanks to this anonymous donor, we have access to the full ROM dump. So when we turn on and boot up the ROM, it displays a bit of garbage for about 15 seconds. And then you get some colored noise for another 15 seconds before loading the actual graphical user interface. There's an initial bootloader that first runs some very basic tests for the RDRAM, read and write tests, and a system reset, an initialization routine, and then finally setting up some video. A bonus with this release is a short document written by Zoinkitty uh, talking about how the functionality of a special test apparatus was used, known as the Zaru test jig. I was not able to find any photos online of the Zaru test jig that Zoinkity describes. However, shown here are a couple of Nintendo 3DS test jigs and should give you an overall idea of what the jigs would look like. So this test here is the controller test and is essentially the same test uh, that I had actually released from an N64 development flash cartridge a couple of years back. I made a detailed video showing this process and for those of you that are interested in checking that out, you can see the link above. The tests are nearly identical. The only thing that I did notice that was slightly different was a memory pack uh, test that was being performed on screen and uh, that was not present here. Now apparently there were different revisions of the test cartridges, so now this could be just one of the slight differences between each of those releases. So it goes through the standard joystick test for all the different push buttons, the analog joystick, and the C buttons, and the directional pad. Pretty straightforward. Now I'm not gonna go into all the details on these menus. Um, there are many videos out there that describe all the different tests and show you guys that. Um, but uh, you, you essentially are able to go and run as many tests as you want on different parts of the N64 console hardware. 
and uh, validate uh, proper functionality. But it is very cool that we're now able to have this ROM done. So pretty awesome. Many thanks to the anonymous donor of this cartridge dump, to GamingAlexandria.com, and also to Zoing Kitty for his detailed write-up. So that concludes the video today, everybody. Again, it was just to bring everybody up to speed with this N64 uh, test cartridge finally being dumped. And uh, I'll have the links in the description to that for those of you that want to test it out. And I'm also going to include links to the ROM that's been padded for the uh, Dr. V64, since that was the unit I was testing it on here today and giving you guys a demo. So you can check the links in the description and I'll have that available for you. So thanks again for watching, everybody. Hit the like and subscribe if you can. It's always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy and bye for now. Ciao.